Post on my single chats and Call of Duty Refugees. How we all doing, man? How my brothers and sisters are doing today, okay? Hide your social credits because Activision will certainly come and steal all of them. Bruh. Because today we're talking about Call of Duty 2024. We're hearing a lot more leaks about it. It's uh, We're hearing that it's going to be Black Ops Go for. Uh, a while ago, we had images leak out as well. And uh, recently, Microsoft has also confirmed that it is apparently coming out in October. So that is official. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Because we got the homie Mr. Dalek Jetty, uh, who loves shaking. Oh, oh, shaking. As we get Roll further it. into 2024, the new Call of Duty game edges ever closer. A direct oh, wow. sequel to Black Ops Cold War developed by Treyarch, rumored to be called Black Ops Gulf War. Yeah. And with that brings the return of Black Ops Zombies. So in this video, we're going to go over what is currently known so far. Yep, it is time again that we all get excited, guys. <laughs> I honestly think that the, the marketing would be like, everybody would be like, <laughs> and during the marketing, everybody would be excited, but when the game comes out, it's going to be the same old crap. Uh, going over all known leaks and rumors in a period of time when the next zombies mode could be make or break. So jumping straight uh -huh. in, let's start with the known format for zombies in Black Ops Gulf War. As it has been heavily rumored and backed up by Charlie Intel sources that round-based zombies is going to be the main zombies in this year's game. A return to form for Thank zombies God. as we've not seen round-based for nearly four years technically that is insane and this call of duty when it by the time it comes out we're hearing that it's going to be in development for almost four years though that is absolutely insane like one in the comments if you're looking forward to this game two if you are not i mean if you're not i totally get that but if you are i mean let me know i personally did not buy modern warfare 3 so i'm looking forward to it and see like if it's good primarily for zombies I mean, if it turns out bad, then I'm ready to not buy again, like, like, Bruh. Modern Warfare 3. Me too, if you count Shida Numa in Vanguard. But it really does seem like round base will be the full focus for this game, which is obviously fantastic news. As for the round base map or maps themselves, we actually know a weird amount already based on data miners finding coding within MW3, linking uh -huh. to Triarch's upcoming project and zombies mode. So in the files mm. of the game, there are currently two round base zombies maps that exist. One Ooh. that is code name zm quartz yo honestly bro like cut the cap man like two maps come on dog make it four maps make it four maps you know what i'm saying we in the year 2024 as a brown man i demand for four zombie maps to launch on day one like black ops 4 although black ops 4 zombies uh wasn't as good as like black ops 3 but uh we got the technology we're talking about ps5 and we're hearing ps5 pro coming out by the end of this year now come on man like the video if you agree and another map that is named ZM Garnet. Now, just because two zombies maps exist in the code right now doesn't mean that we're going to be getting two zombies maps at launch. That was something that we saw repeatedly hey, happen throughout many Black Ops titles, such as Black Ops 1 with Kino and 5, Black Ops 2 with Transit and Nuketown, and Black Ops 3 with Shadows of Evil and the, and Giant. the Giant. Black right? Ops 4 yeah. just turned that on its head with four maps on day one. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, Black Ops 4 was actually like three maps and uh, one map with the season pass. So in total we ended up getting four but everything else was just like one map right but but i mean change of the times right like listen man y'all suckers are making more money than god with the friendly yo know, i hope that they do not i want a proper zombies crew this time g i want a zombies crew man it would be absolutely pathetic if if we got these bbc bundles in Call of Duty Zombies. <laughs> that would be the saddest thing of them all, bro. I don't want it. Like the video if you don't want that too. There's either going to be two round based maps on launch or one round based map on launch and a future round based map to launch fairly soon after that. A huge surprise that leakers have revealed on Twitter is that there is going to be a gobblegum like system coming. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Yo! Yo, yo, how many of you guys actually played Black Ops 3 Zombies, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know there are a lot of uh, Dr. Monty's haters, Gobblegum haters out there, Bruh. but I wasn't one of them, man. I love the Gobblegum system. I think it was g uh, good. Yeah, sure, it was linked with microtransactions, but there was a way to earn them and grind the game. And the game was honestly very, very fun and quite enjoyable to play. And if that is going to be the same case with the upcoming game, then I don't mind it, though. I hope the earn rate is not that bad, though, because I'm not I don't want to buy microtransactions at all, though. OK, so I want to grind the game and I want to get it like naturally because it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot more fun. You get big dopamine right that. OK, you buy it, mm, you you get a little dopamine shot, but then you you just uh, then you're going to start like 
complaining about the fact that you spend like 20 bucks 40 bucks on the gobble gums right like that's nah bro like f all that bro i'm out with that bro but gobble gums if that if we get that back wl i'm going with w though what about the you game guys? now this isn't going to be the exact same gobble gum system from black ops 3 but what has leaked seemed to suggest that it's going to be some sort of consumable system alike to the gobble gum machine which in my opinion is a fantastic way to change up the gameplay and i'm so happy that this sort of system is returning some other small things we know is that it's good that you're happy, but are you shaking though? Oh, like, oh, I'm shaking! Because if you're shaking, then that's good. But if you're just happy without shaking, that's not good. The mystery box is confirmed. Pack a punch, the perks, the armor system from Cold War seems to be returning as well as crafting different buildable items. Oh, wow. Now, the final thing we know before jumping into specifics on each round based zombies map is that according to Windows Central, Activision is discussing a large pre order early access Yee. bonus for the game, which could include several days for the base game and maybe even weeks of early access to other modes. Now, up until now, we've had campaign early access, which I've really enjoyed. But according to this report, it could be the zombies mode that will have a potential early access week or weeks of early access, which if it ends up happening to me shows how confident Activision and Microsoft are with the zombies mode in this. Or, 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 I, I don't want to say it, but let's be real, man. Nowadays, betas are actually full games and the full games are actual betas Bruh. where you are the one that is going to be paying $70 plus taxes. Don't forget about the taxes, though. Otherwise, Uncle Sam will come. Otherwise, uh, I'm in Canada, so Trudeau, through the queue would come and uh, uh, CRA would be up my ass. So we got to pay like sales taxes, right? So it's not like just 70 USD. No, 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 no. It's like 70 plus taxes. So once you buy the product, you are the product. You know, there's a saying if the product is free, you're the product. But in the case of Activision, you buy a product and you are the product Bruh. because you're going to be testing the game. It's like working at McDonald's. You're expecting a pay, but you won't get a pay. You're working at McDonald's and instead of getting paid, you are the one that got to pay the CEO, my G. That's how it is. So in the betas, we get like the best version, right? Low skill based matchmaking, gameplay's fun, low bugs, less bugs, everything is good. And you get mostly all the maps. Uh, in the final games, we get like two or three additional maps. They usually unlock like every, uh, one map every day throughout the two weeks of beta right and when the game comes out we get additional two maps i i really do i really hope when they release zombies either they release it like the full package or they don't real or 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 i don't want it because i don't want them to be like okay so we're releasing it it's in beta stage while we know like it's not like that like it's gonna be the full product and when the full product comes out it's gonna feel like the beta i don't want the beta to feel like full game and i don't want the full game feeling like the beta if they're gonna drop it early then drop the entire thing right just like how they would drop campaign seven days early i think that's actually very very good though i, I like that i like that game and potentially how Pass. finished and polished it is that they can put it out early i'd love to know what you think about this rumor of early access in the comments below and if you're enjoying the video so far and you want to make sure you don't miss out on anything else for this game you need to hit that subscribe button ah! based on these maps uh but no okay that's counterproductive shit like i thought I, oh man i'm also doing youtube bro <laughs> guys please like and subscribe okay okay like and subscribe guys like, like and subscribe. whilst you're down there and you're enjoying the video give me a thumbs up but let's talk oh about the round God. based zombies maps now thanks to the intel from black ops cold war as well as some narrative storyline that we're getting currently in modern warfare zombies we can build a little narrative background to both of these round based maps so starting off with the map codename zm quartz this is apparently going to have a ship which might be a pirate ship that oh, will no. have a cannon trap attached where you will be able to adjust the angle of of this trap we better get skull and bones too guys quadruple a game huh trap when using it so from a very first impression from the sounds of it this map sounds quite big one of the other oh, very specific parts of the map we know is that it has an elevator which will bring you down to a cell block and a laboratory where on first mm. impressions it sounds a massive amount like alcatraz but we know from recent modern warfare zombies law that this could actually be referring to a dog this cutscene was really really good but then you know towards the end of the life cycle of black ops for zombies we ended up getting like laggy cutscenes dog <laughs> we ended up getting like like <laughs> low budget like cutscenes it, it, it was really really sad and pathetic how dirty they did black ops 4 zombies and the players and, and the funniest part here is that black ops 4 had a season pass 
Uh, right now, I I wouldn't mind us getting a season pass though. Oh shit! Oh, the reason the reason being because like I, I feel like the content is lackluster with the free to play package. But you gotta understand that Black Ops Four was the last game to have season pass, and even then they just cucked us so hard by the end of the life cycle of Black Ops Four. We still got piss poor content. They took your money up front. <laughs> And they give you less content later on. It was absolutely pathetic. Those of you that played Black Ops 4, you know what I'm talking about. A map location known as Terminus Island. Now, again, this could all be theoretical and just a really crazy fan theory that doesn't end up being true. There's a lot of lore that ties all of these threads together, especially considering we know that the game's oh, time damn. period is in the 1990s. Now, we believe this map location to be exactly where Dr. Peck is pointing to at the end of the Forsaken Easter egg cuts Scene, as that is our only official teaser in game as to what's happening in the next game and Dr. Peck is obviously pointing to an island that's in the middle of the ocean. The idea mm. of this being Terminus Island comes from the backstory we learn of Jack Fletcher who was the founder of Terminus Outcomes and is Zakayev's right hand man. We learn that he founded Terminus Outcomes in 2011 but his history suggests in 1991 CIA of all people pulled Fletcher from his current role working for a group called NZDF to become security for Terminus Island. Two years later, he was honorably discharged post-mission, and the island was never mentioned again, almost like the CIA are trying to hide something here, wiping any mention of the island from his service record and any other record. Man, the zombie storyline is gonna get, like, <laughs> complicated once again. I was following the zombie storyline uh, uh till like black ops 4 zombies i would say after that i kind of like i said bruh, bruh. i, I kind of peaced out because they did zombies so dirty in call of duty van garbage and in modern warfare 3 zombies as well right so i kind of peaced out i don't know none of what's going on right now and, and all of it is low-key kind of connected with the new story that they're starting with like dark ether right so they closed the loop uh, with black ops 4 in black ops 4 zombies and now they're, they're opening a new one it's never a good buy after all like uh, I, I think that it's very likely that we might actually see the 04 character, but part of me don't want to believe that because I feel like that they are, they're not even want to have zombie screw. I want a zombie screw. I hope they... I, I rather have the original four, Takio, Dempsey, Nikolai, and uh, Richtofen, instead of like seeing like this... Uh, uh, instead of seeing like anime bundles, uh, these BBC bundles as skins and zombies, bro. That's the last thing I want to see. I rather the, uh, the original four crew, bro. I hope. As if the we island doesn't exist. From what we know of Dr. Peck pointing to an island in the middle of nowhere, and thanks to Modern Warfare Zombies, we know of an island which officially doesn't exist on public record. This 100% links together and has to oh, be damn. Terminus Island. Now, with this map also having a prison and a lab, how does that come into play with the story? Well, at the end of yeah. Black Ops Cold War, it was revealed that Richtofen, known as the director, had been in control all along, joining the CIA from a young age. He ordered the strike team to be sent to Black Site 13 for what he defined as indefinite containment. This involved his agents moving on Requiem Senior staff and arrested Gray, Carver, Strauss, Weaver, Raptor One and the strike team where he simply watched on from the monitors in his office. Now, when you mention a prison and the fact that we know that... Honestly, this cutscene was actually a pretty decent cutscene, I would say. It's still like low budget in comparison to like previous, uh, uh, their previous work but uh and, and i have followed like no story in black ops cold war like i even i didn't even play after dlc one i played the first map at launch i played dlc one like once or twice and then kind of pieced out i had no urge uh, to play black ops cold war zombies even though uh, i'll still say black ops cold war zombies gameplay is good and it's fun uh but other than that i just don't care like no zombies crew the story is just not the same the maps don't hit the same it feels like i'm playing multiplayer even in black ops cold war zombies though i hate that feeling man i i, I wish that zombies felt like uh the old days right like world at war uh, black ops 1 black ops 2 black ops 3 uh, to a certain degree black ops 4 zombies even but black ops 4 zombies started to feel a little bit more like uh, blackout and blackout is good don't get me wrong but it's like why do you want to play zombies because you want to play zombies simple as that 
But this cutscene was legendary because uh, obviously it did hint uh, Richthofen. So looking at it, guys, don't quote me on this one, but maybe we might. Uh, this might be a sign that we might get a zombie screw though. Oh, shit. Oh, and if you get a zombie screw, that would be a W. But guys, recently these suckers got caught cheating in Call of Duty. This is an absolute hilarious clip. On the left though, we had Doctor Disrespect catching Z Laner cheating. Check both of these videos out, and I will see you right there.